Before time began, God chose the church. God chose the church in past eternity, in which only God Himself existed. God was by Himself before He chose the church. That's a blessing to know. That God loved His children, His the church, so much that He elected you before time began. Vision of Faith, the television ministry dedicated to bringing you the Word of God from today's local ministries. If you're searching for the truth, look no further. Let's go in now and find out who's bringing the Word of God this week on Vision of Faith. Thank you so very much for listening to our program today. The address of the church is 15640 River Road, Hanville, Louisiana. Our service time is at 10 o'clock. The telephone number is 985-308-1425. And may the Lord richly bless you. Oh Lord my God, when I'm in awesome wonder, consider all thy world thy hands have made. I see the stars. I hear the roaring thunder, my clouds throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art mm -hmm. how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art How great is our God Come on, sing with me How great is our God Oh, we see how great How great is our God Whoa, He's a name above all names And He's worthy of all praise My heart will sing How great is our God Yeah, hallelujah Thank you, Jesus You serve a great God A good God An awesome God A mighty God And He's worthy of our praise Hallelujah. Today I want to talk about the centrality of Christ in God's redemptive activity. The centrality of Christ in God's redemptive activities. And those chapter 1 and chapter 2 deals with uh, spiritual blessings. All the many blessings that God has provided for the church. Amen. Even before you were born. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's how much God think about you, and that's how much God loved the church. Amen. Now look and start at verse 3. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, 
according to the riches of his grace. And I want to stop there. Thank Father, we are just so grateful Lord, to be here, dear God, in your house of prayer. Yes. We welcome you, dear God, in this place. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, we can ask you anything, God, Amen. because we are in your place, oh, yes. a place that Jesus called his house of prayer. Oh, yes. Now, God, look at our hearts. So, God, we confess sin of omission and sins of commission. And we pray, God, your blessing on your people. Bless them coming in, God, and bless them coming out. God, we pray in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen and amen. What Paul is really saying here in the book of Ephesians is, is that, that us, we need to put God first in our life. Yes, we do. That Christ should be central yes. in yes. our life. Yes. And that's what Paul is talking about in, in the book, whole book of Ephesians. Yes. But in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4, Paul said that God did something for the church. Amen. Listen to what he said God did for the church. Oh, yes. In verse 4 he said, God chose us. All right. Thank you. That's the word Ek Lego. Amen. What did God do for the church? Yes. Paul is speaking about past blessing of re election. And that means that God chose the church before the foundation of the world. Yes, he did. Before you were born, before you were born, yeah. Christ chose the church. That's a blessing. Amen. That's a blessing to know yes. that God chose the church yes. before. We were born. Oh, yes. He chose us in Him. That's what the Bible said. Yes. God Thank chose you. us in Him before the foundation of the world. Thank you, Thank you Lord God. He chose us before creation. Yes. Before God created the universe. Amen. God chose the church. Oh, yes. Before time began. Yes. God chose the church. Amen. God chose the church in past eternity. Yes, it is. In which only God himself existed. Amen. God was by himself oh, yes. before he chose the church. Amen. That's a blessing to know. Yes, yes. That God loved his children, his the church so much that he elected you before time began. The Bible said, in that free in creation at, in the eternity. Amen. Before God created the world, God did something. All right. What did God do for the church? Yes. He formed a purpose in his mind. Yes. Amen. God formed the purpose in his mind for the church. Yes. Yes. The purpose was it concerned us and Jesus Christ. All right. He, he purposed to make us his adopted son. Why do you find that scripture? For God so loved the world. Yes. And he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. The Bible said, God chose us before time began. God put us in his mind. Yes, he did. Us and Jesus Christ in his mind yes. and chose the church yes, that they would be sons and daughters of God. Hallelujah. Well, what does the word chose mean in, in, in Greek? Yes. The word chose in Greek means ek lego. E K L E K L E G O. Now let me tell you what that's what that means. God picked the church out. All right. He picked you out before you were born. Yes. He chose you. He selected you. Yes, yes. He chose us as the recipient of a special favor and privilege. If you want anything God, for God to do for you, you need to ask God to grant you favor. Amen. Favor is better than money. Yes, yes, yes it is. Favor have the power oh, yes. for someone to bless you even though he hates you. Oh. That's what favor is able to do. Hallelujah. This purpose. Concern both Christ and us. Amen. Thank that you, purpose, the purpose of God, concern not only Jesus Christ, yes. but it concerned Christ and the church. All right. Thank he you. chose us in Him. 
That's what the Bible said. God put us and Christ together in his mind. Yes, yes, it is. God put Christ yes. and us together in his mind. Yes. Could you imagine being in the mind of God? Praise That's what the Bible is saying yes. that God did. Yes, yes, yes. He chose us yes. and Jesus Christ and he put us in his mind. Yes. Thank you. God determined to, determined to make us because we did not even exist That's right. yeah. during that time. Yes. Yes. God determined to make us who did not yet exist his own children to the redeeming work of Christ. All right. That's what Paul is saying. The centrality of Christ. Yes. The centrality of Christ in God's redemptive activity. All right. Jesus had to die for your sin. Yes, he had to die for the church yes, in order that we might spend eternity with him in heaven. Hallelujah. That's what the whole book of Ephesians is about. Yes, yes. It's about the centrality of the supremacy of Christ. Yes. That the church needs to put Jesus Christ first yes. in our life. Amen. We need to put Christ first yes. in our life. Amen. Then he saw he told us what to do after Jesus chose us. Oh, yes. He chose the church for a reason. Yes. What are those reasons? Mm -hmm. He said that the church should live a holy life. Yes, we should. That we need to live a holy life because Amen. without holiness, no man will see the Lord. All right now. That's what he said. Hallelujah. What does holiness mean? Yes. Holiness means to set apart to himself. All right now. We are set apart to serve God. Amen. We are set apart to serve God. Yes, we are. And who is the agent of holiness? All right. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit Amen. is the agent of holiness Amen. for the church and its leaders. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The Bible says, you found that in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Amen. And in the book of, of Acts chapter 5 verse 1 to 11 it says, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Yes. keeps the church pure. The Holy Spirit keeps the church pure. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 7, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit promotes holiness in the church, All right. in its yes. members. Yes. 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 Listen to what the Bible says about holiness. All right. Christians are holy because of their calling in Christ. All right. You become holy because of the righteousness of Jesus, Jesus when you Christ. accept him in your life. Praise and God. also because the Holy Spirit, Spirit. helps you live a holy life. Yes, yes. He does. The Holy Spirit yes, does. is the agent that helps you live a holy life. Yes. Yes. Because of his atonement Thanks. For Thanks. our sins. All right. The Bible says, No man that live on this earth oh, yeah. that does not sin. That's right. The scripture said that we, we need God. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. Because all have sinned oh, yeah. and come short of the glory of God. Yes. We need the Lord. Oh, yeah. And before you can accept Christ as your personal Savior, we have a need in our life. Yes, we do. And that need is us. All right. Who are sinners? Oh, no. You can only serve two. Oh yes. The Bible said that you can serve God, yes. or you can serve the devil. Oh yeah. And they only have two people that live on this earth. Yes, yes. They have children of the devil oh, no. and children of God. Amen. You are of your father, the devil. That's what you and the loss of your father, you will do. That's right. But Satan was a liar from the beginning, yes, and he is the father of lies. Yes. The first lie in the Bible, in the Book of Genesis, yes. was by Satan. Lord, he yes. said, you shall not surely die. That's right. That's what he said. But because of sin, you will die. Oh, yes. Right. You will be separated from God. Oh, no. Then the scripture said, we need to be holy, holy. but we need to be blameless. Oh, yes. That's yes. a Greek word, emimus. All right. All right. It means that the church yes. should be without fault oh, yes. and live a morally blameless life. Yes, yes. We should live a life with no fault. That's the Greek. That's right. We should be faultless and perfect. Oh yes. Well how do you live that kind of life? Lord Jesus. 
You live that kind of life because of the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. You can only live that kind of life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the power of the Holy Spirit has dunamis power. We have dunamis power. Because of Christ and the Holy Spirit. Then he said in verse 5, one of the blessings of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That Jesus adopted us. Yes, he did. Jesus adopted us. Yes, he did. And during that time, in Roman times, a child that was adopted enjoyed the same privilege Amen. as a natural born child. Mm -hmm. That's in the Bible what Paul is saying. That's a blessing, a present blessing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. See, they had a Past blessings of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah. They have present blessings of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And they have future blessings of the Holy Spirit. Yes. That's why it's important Hallelujah. to be in a good church. Yes. Yes. For you to listen and know exactly yes. what the Bible is telling us. Amen. In the Bible. Yes. The Bible has 7,832 promises. Yes. The Bible has 7,832 yes. promises. So the Bible is saying. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 5 to 8, he said, that's blessing, present blessing of adoption. All right, praise Pleasant, God. Pleasant, present blessing of adoption. And he said, listen to what he said. In the book of John, chapter 1, and verse 12, yeah. the Bible said, but as many as received him. Oh, yes. Received Jesus. Yes. To them gave he power to become sons of God. Amen. Even to them that believe on his name. Amen. And in the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 26. Yes. The Bible says. In whom we have. For, for, excuse me. For you are all the children of God. Yes. By faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. Jesus adopted the church. And we became sons and daughters of God. But why? What is the purpose for Jesus adopting the church? The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians. That we live and we are saved to give glory and praise to God. The church, God has created the church to give God glory. Oh, yes. To give God praise. praise. That's why you are born. Amen. To give God glory. That's right. Because God is responsible. As a matter of fact, David said, the Lord is my, my shepherd. shepherd. Yeah. Yes. But David was saying that Jesus yes. is Yahweh Roha. Yes, he is. Praise and that means that Jesus is our life giver. Yes, he, he is the giver of our existence. Thank you, Lord. God is responsible Thank to give you life. Because he is the one that gives you life. Yeah. In verse 7, Paul is saying he redeemed us. Yes, he did. God had to die. Yes, he did. Shed his blood. Yes. That we might have life. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The word redemption means to deliver yes, yes. by payment of a price. Yes, yes. It was especially applied to the ransom of slave. Redemption is centered in Jesus Christ. That's why we are saved. He had to shed his blood. And there was nobody else that was sinless to be able to come here on this earth and to die for the sins of mankind. God. The Bible said he purchased the church yes. with his own blood. Yes, he did. Acts chapter 20 and verse 28. Yes, yes. He gave his flesh for the life of the church. Yes, he did. John chapter 6, verse 51. All right. Go ahead. The good shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Yes, Lord. John chapter 10, oh, yes. verse 11. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. And the Bible said in John chapter 15, verse verse. 13. All right. He laid down his life yes. for his friend. All right. yes. Nobody else Nobody. would lay his life Amen. for his friend. Amen. Nobody. I doubt Nobody. if we would lay down our life for our children. That's right. But God 
so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life sin breaks the barrier between us and God but redemption redemption from sin and brings bring fellowship with an eternal father yes, yes. redemption yes. brings fellowship yes. with an eternal god all right redemption point to a new relationship to god amen you know Adam, when you sin you. that relationship is broken yes, it is. but the bible tell us in psalm 66 and 18 yes that we need to confess our sins to God. That's right. Because unconfessed sin in our life yes. is an obstacle to answer prayer. Yes. So if ever you prayed a prayer, yes. it looks like it's never being answered by God. Yes. Maybe you need to confess right. those known sin, yes. sin of omission and sin of commission yes. to God. Yes. Because unconfessed sin in our life, according to the Bible, yes. keep God from answering yes. your prayer. That's true. Hallelujah. Listen to what Revelation said. In the book of Revelation, chapter 5. Chapter 5. And when he had taken the blood, yes. the four beasts, and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb. Yes. Having every one of his, of them harps yes. and golden vials full of odor, which are the prayers of the saints. Yes. Amen. And they sung a new song. A new song. Saying, Thou art worthy, worthy. to take the book. Yes, Lord. And to open the seals thereof. Yes. For thou was slain and has redeemed us. Yes, Lord. And has redeemed us. Yes. By the blood out of every kindred. Yes. Amen. And tongue and people and nation. And had made us unto our God kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth. Amen. Revelation chapter 5 Amen. verses 8 Amen. to 10. Yes. And the scripture said. Yes. God bless us with something else. Yes. He forgave us. Yes, he did. That's a present Praise blessing yes. of redemption. Oh, yes. What does the word forgive mean? Yes. It means to pardon our sin. Yes, it does. It means to remit yes. our sin. Yes. It means to blot out yes. our sin. Yes. What will God do with our sin? Yes. Hold on. The Bible says God is going to cast our sin. Oh, yes. As far as the east is from the west. Yes. That you, he never remembered those sins anymore. Jesus never remember our sins anymore when we confess our sin to an almighty, merciful God. And the scripture said, He remember your sins no more. He's going to bring peace in our lives. After our sins are forgiven. And he's going to pardon our sin and restore the fellowship that we once had with the Lord. The fellowship that we once had with God. The Bible says if we confess our sin. Yes. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Thank you, Jesus. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord. Don't you want your sins to be confessed? Oh, yes. Don't you want God to forgive you for your sins? Yes. Amen. Yes. Well, you need to confess yes. your sin of omission yes. and your sin of commission. Yes. The yes. sin that you know that you committed yes, Lord. and the sin that you have yes. that you don't even know that you committed. Yes, Lord. But you need to ask God. To confess your sin of omissions oh, yes. and sin of commission. Oh, yes. The Bible said these are blessed privileges which always follow the forgiveness which is given to us according to the grace of God. Amen. God is a merciful God. Yes, he is. He is a God that God. is full of grace yes. and plenteous in mercy. Yes, he is. See, Praise God just blesses. us. Because of his love for the church. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's why the Lord bless you. That's the reason that you need to be in a good church. All right. Yes, sir. Where you will learn the promises 
and the blessings of God. Amen. Where you know that you can escape hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. See, once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, hell is not for you. That's right. That's right. Heaven is for you. Amen. And all you have to do Thank you, God. to go to heaven is to believe. Amen. That Jesus Christ yes, yes. died for your sin. Yes, he did. He was buried for your sin. Yes. And he was resurrected for your sin. Amen. Eternal life. Hallelujah. Eternal life. Glory. The Bible says Glory. that one day to the Lord yes. is as a thousand years. Yes. That's right. And if you read the Bible correctly, yes. no man ever live a day. In God's eyesight. That's right. Matula lived 969 years. Hold on. Right. Nobody else, the oldest man that ever walked on the face of this earth. Yeah. But you'll be able to enjoy Hallelujah. life with Christ. Oh, All you have to do Thank you. is accept Christ Thank you. as you personally say, Father, we bless you. Yes. Yes. We bless you, God, for being in this, bu in this building today, God. Thank you. Thank you. We love you, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I was very encouraged in today's message, and I could feel the anointing of God through the pastor speaking. Today's message was powerful. You know, it talked about God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And, you know, it's good that we hear about that. You know, we need to feel it. You know, and, and and the message brought it straight across and we could all, you know, receive it into our heart. It's a good message, you know. It's, it's good to come to church, to get the word, you know, to gather with other believers, which is an awesome thing. To praise and worship our God together, to lift his name up on high, to give him all the glory that he de certainly does deserve. Today's message was very inspiring. I always am happy to enter into the, the house of the Lord because the word goes forth. The word, and Pastor Bellows always preach about the word of God. And in times like these, we need the word. We need the Lord on our side. It was an awesome, inspiring message as always. Well, I was moved by the words Pastor spoke today. I, I really gotten a lot out of it. And I'm feeling real blessed by uh, hearing the word that was spoken by my pastor, Reverend Bell. Hi, I'm Jemaya. And I'm Jayla. And we love to see you at Hunterville Church. Hello, I'm Minister Bello, Hunter Baptist Church. We're located at 15640 River Road, Hunter, Louisiana. Area code 985-308-1425. We would love to have you come and visit. Call us. If you'd like a copy of today's message on DVD in its entirety, give us a call at the number on the screen to order today. Please make reference to the title of today's message and thank you in advance for your support. We hope you enjoyed the message today. You can hear these kind of messages every week. Send a donation of $20 or more to Hanville Church, Post Office Box 316, Hanville, Louisiana, 70057. Remember, the Bible says it is more blessed to give than to receive. May God richly bless you. Thank you. Thank you for watching today's episode of Vision of Faith. If there is a ministry that you'd like to see featured, give us a call at 504-515-2284. That's 504-515-2284. On behalf of all of us, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.